This is Ryan Kerr, Applications Manager for TI's Motor Drive Business Unit. And I'm here today to introduce the DRV8312 kit, recently launched, that includes all the necessary hardware for spinning brushless DC and permanent magnet synchronous motors right out of the box. And I'm here today with uh, Jorge Zambada, who's from our Motor Control uh, Solutions Lab, uh, to give us a little background on FOC. Before we do that, I just wanted to talk briefly about the, uh, the drive stage here, the DRV8312. Uh, it's an integrated solution. It has the onboard uh, gate drive and, and FETs, uh, which gives us a, uh, having an integrated solution gives us a very small dead time, 5 nanoseconds in this case, for very uh, precise control of the motor. Yeah, it's also a very robust solution in that we have the uh, ability to, to uh, have over temperature sensing as well as over current sensing on board and provide that feedback back to the micro. Uh, now I'm going to pass it over to Jorge to tell us a little bit more about the complete solution. All right, thanks, Ryan. Okay, so what we're trying to do is feel oriented control. And uh, in order to do that, we need current feedback from the motor and we need a few PWMs to control the motor. So in this case, uh, we have a Piccolo and we have a DRV chip, right? Uh, we get the current from the DRV chip back to the ADD converter. Uh, the Piccolo runs uh, a few control loops and an estimator, since we have a sensorless control, and then we feed those signals back to PWMs, and these signals are amplified by the DRV chip back to the motor. Um, so the estimator uh, saves us a couple, uh, a few bucks by not having an encoder, which is always a good thing, save money there. And, um, and we have a very nice control, the brains and the power, uh, the estimator and the control loops, and it's a perfect example of a, of a good control, of a good system for control. Thanks, Jorge. No I just problem. had uh, I just had one question. Um, uh -huh. How important is the precision of the PWMs and the, the ADC uh, and, and the, the linearity? You mentioned the, the dead time before uh, in the 8312 for the FOC uh, system. Uh, it's very important, actually, because uh, the quality of the speed uh, estimation and the quality of the of the torque uh, comes directly proportional of on um, how good the quality of the current is. So if you have dead time, that will generate some current ripple since there's a dead time distortion, right? Mm -hmm. So during the zero crossing, there is some distortion that will uh, be reflected on your estimated speed, for example. So once you have a bad speed measurement, uh, you can't control it as, as tight anymore. So if you have a power tool, uh, you will get some jittery when you're running at very low speeds, and you don't want that, especially at low speeds, right? Uh, so with uh, 5 nanosecond, it's almost no dead time distortion at all, so that's always good. If it's a discrete solution, uh, uh, the usual dead times there is 500 nanoseconds, so it's already 100 times higher than this, mm -hmm. or a microseconds. So this is good, uh, 5 nanoseconds, obviously, the smaller the better, right? Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. For more information, you can go to ti.com slash motor and search in the training tab where we have another video on field-oriented control. Uh, as far as the kit goes, you can also search for ti.com for the 8312 and order a kit today. It's available uh, now for $299. Thank you. Have fun spinning those motors. Thank you.